We're 100 videos in, we've nearly built the van, we've used the van. There's many things that we felt along this journey. It's really a roller coaster of emotions, a van build. I think it's been compounded and made better by putting it all on YouTube. If we quit today, we've had a good, good reciprocal relationship with uh, YouTube. We've learned some things along the way. We thought we'd share them today with you in case it will help any of you out. When we first got started and bought the bus, it was an extremely exciting time. Weird time as well, 2020. Lily was young. She's actually never been on a bus. So you haven't actually never been in a bus, have you? No, I have. See? The ground is there. I know. This is mega. We've got a bus! We've got a bus! <laughs> and we're riding it. And it was a really, really wacky thing for us to do. Actually, every stage of the build has been exciting because it's brand new to us. Everything we do is new. There will come a time where you'll feel guilty for working so much on your van build. Everything takes ages and it does remove you from doing other things. Lady doesn't like the loud, so what do you? But you're always thinking, should I be doing something else? Is it worth it? You feel guilty and it's natural. You just have to remember the goal at the end it's travel and freedom and who you're doing it for. I use wearing goggles guys as protective goggles. That was a clever idea. That was a point in our build which hit us really quite hard. It was quite towards the beginning as well and we really did feel like giving up, didn't we? Yeah, it's bad news. It is. There's no two ways about it. It's bad news. Like, real bad. We wanted to quit um, when we found, basically, that there was nothing holding the windscreen in around the bottom. But we persevered. We were in it to win it, as it were. We found a really good welder in Luke. So I thought, well, I'm pissing in the wind to know actually how long I've got to make it and what, uh, what height. Got back on track and just pushed on with the build throughout. That was quite a major thing but everything's challenging. Yeah, everything is. There's so much to learn, I think. Just break everything down as simple as you can, one thing at a time. We're here. Yeah. So it's we worked. It. it took us two years, but I think some ways that also makes it easier because it makes it easier to pay for. <laughs> yeah, the costs are astronomical. The price of vans and everything has gone up too. Everything we've done on this bus is the first time we've done it, legitimately. Don't you push that panel down. So you feel accomplished. You learn new things. We've done electrics. We've done gas. We've done our plumbing. We've done furniture building. Kelly's painted. We've done all sorts of things that are new to us. And it's come out all right. We're really happy with the finish that we've managed to achieve. You'll feel worried most of the time if you're like us. And this is the first yeah. time you've done it. Because... Like, for example, you're cutting a worktop for the first time. It's a £150 worktop that you could quite easily ruin. Yeah. And everything we've done has been like that and has been full of worry. And, like, have we selected the right thing? Are we doing the right thing? Have we measured correctly? What happens when it goes wrong? How do we fix it? You just have to overcome. Do go wrong and you've just got to try and find a way to get around it as well. Yeah, things will go wrong and that, yeah. that's natural. I don't think people show that as much as they should and because it's just that's how you learn it's human nature things just go wrong and things don't have to be 100 percent perfect no it's all handmade we know it's handmade by us you're it's looking at that bit there aren't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know but i think that adds to the charm it does yeah we can tell that we've built this um and we feel really happy about that but you will feel worried too. When you're worried, when you're excited, when you're building, you need motivation to keep going. And we got that in many forms, because we had our goals. We know yeah. we wanted to go traveling. We wanted some freedom. But we also got that from posting these videos on YouTube. Also watching other people on YouTube yeah. as well. Yes, yeah, so sharing in other people's accomplishments, seeing how they've done it. Um, is incredibly motivating. And we were really lucky as well, so we've made a lot of great, we've made a lot of great friends through um, YouTube and Instagram, and who we've met in real life as well. And that deadline of wanting to go and meet them for the yeah. first time at Overland International 
really give us a kick out the bum and something to aim towards. And then meeting them, again, was hugely motivational, seeing all of their amazing builds. And just meeting them, for real, um, yeah. made it worth it, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, and everyone's vans and like buses are so different as well, which I think is amazing. You can just see all the different personalities in them. Yeah. Yeah, there's not one that's the same. No. There isn't one that's the same. They're all so different. Yeah, it's funny because it, like people will come to your bus and go, "Oh, I wish I'd done that," and you'll go into theirs and go, "Oh, I wish I'd done that." Yeah. But then everyone just loves everyone's built. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's just hugely motivating. It is, it is a brilliant community. Yeah, brilliant. When we first started, the whole aim was freedom, so we wanted to get out on the road. I just wanted to be able to go. Oh, you know, let's go rain for the weekend, jump in the bus, and go. And we've done it. So this summer we did a really big trip around Wales, which was amazing. And oh, we've we done, loved it. Oh, it was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, take us back there now. The bus worked a treat. You know, we learnt from it. And we've used it quite a lot since. Yeah. So, you know, we've used it about 35 nights or something. Yeah. This year, bear in mind, you know, it's not been finished long. Yeah, we've been working on finished. it as well. <laughs> so next year, we're hoping we'll get even more. Yeah, we hope so. We've got... Well, we're starting to plan one big trip, aren't we? Yeah. So. Big trip plans, and we're going to be wanting your help with that. We really are grateful um, for everything, really. We're really glad that it's worked out. Yeah. Um, we're really thankful for everybody that watches us and leaves a nice comment, gives us nice tips. And all the people we've met at shows as well, and all the friends we've made, and just the general community. It's been lush. So do you think we'll keep making videos? We are hoping to keep going, aren't yeah. we, for a bit longer. A um, bit longer. Well, I suppose people will still have us, really. Yeah. We will see you soon. One, two, three. Bye! Bye. Good yeah. school video. <laughs>